Hello and welcome to Conversations with Elise Quevedo. I am back with Edwin Deander, Chief Digital Transformation Officer of the Enterprise Business Group at Huawei. Hi Edwin, great to see you again. How are you? Hello Elise and thank you for having me again. It's been a while, but um, I'm happy to be back on your channel. Thank you very it's much. It's been a while indeed. Now, Ed, a few days ago, I saw one of your presentations and you unboxed and presented to the world a productivity tool called Idea Hub, which, by the way, I can see on your background. And is that Idea Hub on the t-shirt that I read? It is. Can you see it? It says right here, Idea Hub. Very cool. Now, this is what you call preparation. It's, it's exactly what it is. It is a hub for new ideas. Wow. So then let's start with that. Can you give us a summary of what Huawei's Idea Hub is all about? Well, what it is, it is a family of products. That's, that's the first thing what it is. And these product, products entail into productivity tools and devices. For example, to allow people to work across teams and departments and share information across teams and departments, regardless of location, uh, even regardless of time zones. What it also is, is a family of products that allows teams and departments to collaborate internally much better. So not just with external or across teams and departments, but also within a team and within a department. For example, in, in meeting rooms or in, in, in group discussions, or team sessions where there's always a lot of hassle about uh, who has the marker for the whiteboard. Uh, don't use the marker of the paper flip over because that's a permanent marker and you don't wanna write with a permanent marker on a whiteboard because then you need all these, you know, all this stuff to clean it out and so on and so forth. If you wanna share information uh, in a team session via a projector or a beamer or whatever you wanna call it, cables are, you know, entwined and, and all knotted and whatever, or the cables aren't there. The projector sits on a table, but it's too low. You need to find some books to put it on. Uh, you need to, you, you need to, you know, uh, uh, zoom in, zoom out and, and put it in focus. It's just a lot of hassle and takes away uh, most of the time that you actually need to get going with the momentum that's in the room. The energy in the room loses itself and drains itself for all of that. So this is a tool this is a family of products that takes all of that away. Amazing. Thank you for answering that. And you mentioned the office. So I would like to ask you about the cloud capabilities of Idea Hub. As for what I saw, it seems very powerful. And just like you said, having to use too many cables now seems to be a thing of the past with Idea Hub. So what would the biggest benefits be when it comes to smart office usage? For idea hub well there are there are a few uh, if you think about conventional boards or smart boards even for that matter then uh, these are quite heavy um, rather fixed if you like some even mounted on a wall because there's no pedestal for it um, or a rig to put them on and to and to pull them around the office for example so one thing that we've covered is that we've created a solution that is wall mounted but also a solution that does not necessarily have to be mounted on a wall. It can be mounted on, on a stand. And this stand is uh, robust, but also very light. And it rolls around the office quite easily. Um, what it also does, it, it connects everything and anything rather wireless. That really means you really don't need any cable, no HDMI or V24, um, which sometimes your computer supports, sometimes your computer does not. Um, or sometimes your computer supports it from a cable connection point of view, but maybe not from a screen resolution or high definition point of view versus what the what your computer versus what the screen has and so on and so forth. Um, so th those things are solved. The only cable it has is the cable for power. Uh, another thing that it solves, it has, it has a UPS built in, uh, like a battery pack almost, which means that if you unplug the cable from the wall, from the power socket, not from the connection, but from the power socket. I think between four and six hours, let's say, let's say battery uptime, almost like your smartphone basically has, has also been covered and solved in this one. So you just unplug it, you move it to another meeting room or a larger meeting room, or you log off and let someone else use it and let them use their login and credentials. It is done. 
Another thing that is arranged within this is something that you don't realize very much. So the first thing you don't realize is that you actually waste a lot of time and you're, and you're losing group dynamics if you need to get things going first. Uh, so, so that part is solved, as I mentioned before in my previous answer. But the second one relates to something else. Um, if you're working with smart screens and screens at all, you know, these are very brain draining. I'm sure everybody understands that. And that's because of blue light, a uh, very harmful blue light. And there are settings in all these devices that you can, that you can activate that, that kind of takes that away. But these settings also changes a bit of the color. It makes it a bit more yellow. So in return, what you're then trying to do is you're trying to get the brightness of the colors back, which makes you bypass the reason why you're putting this feature on because that's for your, 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 for the health of your eyesight. So we've embedded a combination of hardware and software together within this screen that automatically adjusts in the right way, not only the color and the brightness settings, but it also takes out the harmful blue light and transposes that into harmless blue light, which by the way is um, uh, tested and certified by a TÜV in, uh, in Germany, one of the, one of the highest uh, institutions when it comes to these kind of certifications. And another thing that sits within it is um, what I think is astonishing. If you're working with conventional screens or smart screens, if you, if you want to put an eye on a dot when you're writing, right? You're writing on a screen and you, you, you put an eye and then a, the dot on the eye. It's, it's almost never you know, exact or accurate. And, and when you're writing, there's a bit of a delay. So it looks like you're writing in the wrong direction or something is not really adding up. Uh, also, both of these two, what we call hidden issues, if you, you know, if you think about it, it becomes an issue. If, if this is the only thing you know, then that's what it is and that's what you're used to. But in this particular screen that we have that is embedded in the uh, Idea Hub family of products, we've, we've covered that as well and we've, we've overcome this. It really is like, like, like writing with a pen on paper or, or, or with a whiteboard marker on a whiteboard. It is that accurate and it's also that, that featureful. And last but not least, if, at least in my case, my handwriting isn't that, that, that well, whatever language I, I, I write in. <laughs> so it's, it's not that beautiful, so to speak. So I really got to pay attention to, to, to clean and, and, and nice writing, which number one slows down, but number two can also be solved. We build in a feature that actually understands your handwriting and that transposes that handwriting into a system font. So the benefit of that is number one, everybody can read what you're writing. Uh, number two, if they cannot, or if the transposition is uh, not going correctly, you know, you can just correct one or two words instead that you have to wipe the whole screen and write it again. Uh, but thirdly, if you want to copy, if you're in a session where you need to copy paste text or, or input or diagrams um, or anything that you've drawn on such a smart screen, conventional smart screens, and you want to copy paste that into a document that you're simultaneously uh, working on, doesn't really scale and actually doesn't really work. So those features combined within this screen completely solved. 